When we mention about the traditional theater, such as Peking Opera, what we refer to is the succession of the tradition, which has been developing for so, so many years. Among all the great performers, one is named as Mei Baojiu, who is not only known as the son of another outstanding artist, Mei Lanfang, but also the famous as the contemporary master of the Peking Opera. Mei Baojiu was the leader of Mei Lanfang Peking Opera Troupe in Beijing Peking Opera Theater. Unfortunately, this great artist passed away in 2016, leaving all the Peking Opera fans sorrowing about the loss of the Peking Opera. And in this following video, let's review the legendary life of this master. Born in 29th March, 1935, Shanghai, China, Mei was the ninth and the youngest son of the great deal in Chinese Peking Opera, Mei Lanfang. Because Jiu means nine in Chinese, he was named as Bao Jiu. Interestingly, he was, on, he was also the only son of the Mei Lanfang who chose to continue his father's work and career and succeed Mr. Mei's legacy. Although only Mei Baojiu became a professional artist of Peking Opera, his siblings were also talented in many fields. For example, his eldest brother, Mei Baochun, was an engineer in Beijing, and his sister was also a good Peking Opera performer of Laoshen. But only Mei Baojiu performed as the role of the Dan, which uh, is the same as his father, and uh, he was the only heir of the Mei Pai Qing Yi, the style created by Mei Lanfang. Just as the old Chinese saying states, like father like son, influenced by Mei Lanfang, Mei Baojiu started performing at a very young age. Mei Lanfang did not teach him to perform just because he wanted a successor, but it was because Mei Baojiu's pretty looking and delicate voice that Mei Lanfang decided to send him to the Peking Opera schools to study Qing Yi. He was chosen for his great potential and talent in Peking Opera, while he was interested and fascinated about Peking Opera. During his early childhood, surrounded by those giants of Peking Opera, Mei Baojiu studied from his first teachers, Wang Yaoqing and Zhu Chuanmin. Both of them were the most influential Peking Opera actors of then. Mei Lanfang would also provide personal training when he was free from work. He had gained valuable suggestions from his father. Through Mei Lanfang's guidance, Mei Baojiu got considerable improvement of acting the spoke, spoken part. Mei Lanfang would also guide Mei Baojiu to increase the speaking speed in order to create a tension between the characters when Mei Baojiu played the story of Susan. As a talented kid, Mei Baojiu had his first stage performance of Sanyang Teaches the Child when he was only 9 years old. When he was 12 years old, he cooperated with his sister to perform Yang Zilang visiting his mother. To succeed his father's style, he also performed the Qing Yi. For example, in the story of the legend of the white snake, Mei Baojiu and his father played the part of green snake and the white snake. His famous plays also include Farewell to My Concubine, Great Fate in Toxin, and The Great uh, Concubine of Tang. With the years of training, Mei Baojiu became a master of Peking Opera and kept to lead Mei Lanfang keeping opera troupe after the death of his father. However, in 1964, because of the Beijing government's policy, he had to leave and did other work rather than performing. It was after 14 years he finally could perform again. Mei Baojiu contributed so much to China, including improving Peking opera, cultural exchange and education. Regarding improving Peking opera, he evaluated certain works and cut unnecessary plots. He also re rewrote the famous play of the story of Yang Guifei by making the story more interesting and wonderful. Mainland China and Taiwan did not have a good relationship after the Civil War. In 1993, he had the chance to visit Taiwan and delivered performance. This helped the cultural exchange and the mutual understanding of Chinese culture under the political tension. In terms of education, one crisis Peking Opera is facing currently is that young generation loses the interest. Therefore, Mei Baojiu, as a member 
of the National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Reference. He also came up with the plan that the basic knowledge of Peking Opera should be introduced to Chinese elementary school, and Peking Opera should be also be made in the form of the animation, so that the young generation could understand and love it. On the Mid Autumn Festival of 2014, at the age of 80, he had his performance "Gui Fei in Toxin," which was also the birthday of his father. Mei Baojiu passed away in 2016 because he had no children with his wife. Many people believed this would be the end of a performing dynasty.